This is Clayton Thomas Mueller stopping at the Source Campaigner with 350.org. Coming at you from day two of climate welcome here at the residence of our new Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's. Um, I'm coming at you uh, moments after hearing the news that President Obama has rejected Trans Canada's Keystone XL proposal, the northern segment. Um, and uh, I just wanted to pause for a minute and just to say, um, you know, I've been involved with the KXL campaign, uh, you know, for the last seven years uh, since before it started and uh, watch the thousands of community members, elected tribal leaders, landowners, ranchers, uh, municipalities, um, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of civil society groups, unions, um, you know, representatives from every social movement sector come together against the TransCanada KXL proposal. And today is really a shining example of the power of people's social movements and collective action. People's social movements have moved the most powerful government on the face of the planet, the United States of America, to reject big oil's ambitions to hardwire our economy to a hundred years of an, of an outdated, dirty energy source. And, uh, you know, for me, this is a sea change moment. And so, you know, I encourage you to go to climatewelcome.ca to find ways, if you're in Capital City, to come down and participate. And we still have two days of peaceful sit-ins happening here at Prime Minister Trudeau's house. Yesterday, the Trudeau government made it very clear that they still adamantly support the KXL pipeline and other tar sands pipelines like Trans Canada's Energy East pipeline. And so we, you know, are going to continue to, uh, you know, send a serious uh, but gentle message to the newly elected prime minister um, that we need to freeze tar sands expansion and we need to unthaw Canada's investment into a renewable energy economy. And so we invite you to join one of the fastest growing, one of the most powerful movements on the face of the earth, the climate justice movement, and join us in uh, moving Canada to a direction that it needs to go.